right now. <laughs> no. Um, I don't even know how we're going to start this. Do we want to go over what we want to say first before you start recording or what? Well, we're recording now anyway. All right team, we're here in the Fitzroy Motorsport Garage. I'm here with me mate, Tony Wiley, AKA the fucking pest. And what we thought we would do is we would just jam a little session on, um, on Autofest and what's coming up, what to look forward to, who's going to be there, our own opinions on Autofest, you know, who's partaking in Autofest and our thoughts and feelings. So once again, don't get butt hurt. All right, don't call the New Zealand Keyboard Warrior Burnout Association on us because this is our opinions. And if you all know me, I, I lean a little towards the blowing cars and anything Ali's powered. So I can't speak for Tony, but- um, We'll be right, mate. Ali's anything. Yeah. We've recorded this on Sunday, so you know, it's only a few days away. I'm pretty much almost ready. So we've got plenty of time, plenty of time for once. And I'm not going. <laughs> and yeah, this guy doesn't leave Wainui anyway. He eventually, you know, sometimes ventures over to Masterton. Been once, been yeah, once. Went to the, to the original Auto Fest. Came to go back. Just you didn't go to the original Auto Fest. The, the original Auto Fest was well, not the like original in, Auto in, Fest. In, in Mystery Creek. No, no, I went to the Manfield one then. Count that. What was that, 22? <clears throat> I don't know. COVID. After COVID. So I thought. Um, we can talk about Autofest, what is Autofest? So basically, it's put on by Downtime Entertainment. It's a bit of an automotive uh, event. It's kind of been evolving ever since it started. Uh, originally back in um, at Mystery Creek. I've been to a few locations, and uh, so last year, Mary Mary. This year, Mary Mary Hampton Downs. It's always evolving. Um, as most car events are, they have to change with the times and whatnot. I need you to jump in here at some stage, mate, otherwise I'm going to keep waffling, bro. Well, I suppose the highlight for us is really the burnouts. I mean, there's drag racing, what else has Auto Fest got? <sighs> Who cares, got man? <laughs> Who cares, more. man? Burnout! Track cruise, they've got the night cruise. Fucking ever burnout. The night cruise always looks pretty good. Not that I've got a street car, but we went on that one to Palmy, that was pretty mean. Yeah. The one from Auckland looked real good last time with Jay Luff losing his bumper. <laughs> All sorts. It, it just looks like it just keeps going. So from the, the well, when you get in there, I guess you run into everyone that you know. It seems to attract people from everywhere. Yeah. People coming from down south, you know, and it just sort of seems to go on for until the gates shut, and then everyone's rolling back home together. This year, I think this is the biggest auto fest for burnouts we've had so far. I mean, uh, there's so much on offer. So there's two. Uh, direct entry into the Summonets Pro Series, and that includes surface shipping as well, so they ship your car over there for you. There's uh, entry, there's one wild card into the Burnout Masters game, uh, which is very, very cool for someone. Uh, there's the um, Gen Island Memorial Cup, so first year too, so whoever wins Autofest will take that, have their name engraved on it and take that home until the following Autofest. There's uh, Jake Myers here come to, to judge the sickest tippin. He's actually provided a, a very cool trophy and a, uh, a very sick, um, one of the biggest checks you'd see in your life. Yeah. So, <laughs> you can't even the frame. Yeah. Pretty sick. Uh, this is probably be the only time I ever hold it because my car doesn't tip in. But very cool. We'll talk about. Um, we will talk about. Well, I'll talk about who I think is in the running for that as well. I don't know. That seems to be the biggest prize in my mind. Anyway, if you can throw the massive tip in and take that home, that's almost as good as winning sometimes. Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, I mean who doesn't love a big novelty check? Yeah. I mean, is everyone getting checks for for winning or what? That's the only <laughs> check on the day, mate. No, that's the only check on the day that you can have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. a clean sweep. If you take that home and win, man, you, yeah. you're on for the whole year. You could just yeah. throw that up in the comments of Facebook and everything. Yeah. Say what? What? They, no, got the goods. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I, I think um, this this year burnouts is pretty epic and hit a bit of a milestone. You know, between Chrome and Autofest, there's actually eight spots for New Zealand cars. So uh, Chrome saw uh, Tainted and Haunt You win two tickets to the Pro Burnout series. They also saw uh, Too Tough and Devil's Trial get wild cards. So once again at Autofest, we'll see two Pro Burnout tickets and two more wild cards. So that's a possibility of eight New Zealand cars at Summonets 
2025. So the wild cards are just picked from the top 20. So and then the, the no, two. No, so I see, so what, what usually happens is the Summonats judges or the Summonats t- um, team uh, will recognise cars that have been putting in the effort, that have gone well, but ha- haven't finished, you know, top of the events, but are deserving yeah. of a place at Summonats. So... So with, you know, Jake, too tough. I mean, I love that car. He definitely needs to be there. And, um, you know, Fraser McRae with Devil's Child. He's, uh... It's just so animal, that <laughs> Every time you see that thing, it's going off. Ay, 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 ay. Um, and he just doesn't stop. Nah. The it, thing because he doesn't care. off, rolls <laughs> off, <laughs> and it's just... And it's, <laughs> It just look, it's so slam that thing too. So yeah. when it's on pops, the thing is like dragging everything to get off the pad. Yeah, oh, fuck. It's, it's good. I love what he's he goes good all the time. Yeah, I know. We'll talk about. Let's just say how you get in there first. How you get in there? You get picked. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this shit. We haven't actually discussed this at all. No. Um, yeah, we haven't discussed anything. So we just this is on the fly. We've talked about this. We just it's on the fly. Four months. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a week to go. Yeah. Like this is the achievable one for absolutely anybody. All you have to do is make the top twenty. Okay? And then the the guys that run and have developed the Burnout Masters game are gonna pick a car from the top twenty to go into the game. So th- this is where it's just open to anyone. All you gotta do is make the top twenty. This is where it gets exciting. For those that, that think that they, oh, I can't, you know, I'm probably not going to win it or whatever, man, aim for that top 20. And especially for me, marketing-wise, I'm thinking they're going to be looking for something that's unique, that's not already in the game. You know, we've already got Falcons and Commodores in the game. You know, there's already one-tonners in the game. All right, sorry, guys. But I feel that they'll be looking for something that's a little unique, a little slice of kiwi. Like a mini one-tonner. That's why I've put... <laughs> I put we out, Doug with the little Suzuki farm worker. Oh, bro. So I reckon that, either that or low rotor. That, that's like, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So that, something, something unique. Something stands out. Make the top 20. And, and it, it could be, you know, it could be you. It could be, it could be anyone. Because you know? I don't think either of those cars you can build on the game. I think you can get an 808 wagon on the game. But having a low rotor on there, I reckon, would be pretty good. And it, and it would sell. I reckon kids would be out there buying it. Mom, can I get this one? There's some uh, some pretty cool New Zealand Kiwi cars out there um, that will you know will be on the game, and the benefits of being in the game far outweigh the benefits of any other any other you know opportunity out there. You know, I know like I was up. I was the first NZ car to be put on Burnout Masters, and I could and we get royalties from being in the game. So every time someone downloads your car on the game. You get a cut of that, you know, and um, depending on how hard you push it in the game, get all your mace, you know, like it, it racks up. So even four years on, I'm still getting royalties from that because people are still downloading that out in the game. So for me, if, if it was, I mean, actually, there's, there's too much on offer, you know, but that I would be aiming for that just to get to the top 20 and put on that show in the top 20 because I would want to be in the game. Yeah. Like you said, it goes on, and, and they're always promoting it too. It always pops up on Facebook, yep. different photos and stuff. So like they had for AutoFest, they had the lineup of the Kiwi cars. Who's in there? One more to join. You know, yeah. that, that's kind of cool. They're all about it. Oh, it's, it's a buzz. And it's a rush seeing your car in the game as well. I mean, so that, It's cool for everyone to be able to download your car. You know? And it'll help you sell other stuff too. Oh, yeah. You know, sure. merch and stuff, you get to screen grab it. I think every fucking second comment I have on something is like, oh, I downloaded your car in the game, or I've got your car in the game, you know? So it's, it's for me, it's up here, you know? Which is, you know, like this year at, at AutoFest, you know, everyone's like, I don't, I'm not worried about winning. Everyone says that, you know, oh, I don't care about winning, I don't care about, like I, of course you want to win, but, um, I'm not fussed about going to Summonettes. I'm going to Summonettes for the experience, I love it. I go to record, make the videos. You know, one day I'd like to take Nut out back there. I'm not in a rush to do it at the moment. I would, I, what I'm loving is seeing all these new cars coming through and, and everyone else having that Summonettes experience because it is one of those bucket list items and I think, um, I think you know, it'd be so cool to see everyone. You know, get everyone getting a shot at that. Well, Summonettes is changing a bit as well with the split off from Burnout Masters. Yeah. 
So it'll, this is the first, oh, man, first year of it. 70k in the prize pool for the burnout comp at Summonets. And I guess what's even more interesting is that they now have new partners with the, um, uh, what's his name? The Alex. Lambo guy, whatever, <laughs> yeah, I can't remember, yeah. I can't say his name. I saw it the other day. I was it was like LCMT or some shit like that, oh, the raffle sure. guy. So there'll be big bad things to come. So yeah, I mean, that's that's where I think, I mean, th there's a lot on offer actually, as I say, you know, this, this, the summon that's tickets aren't the, aren't the, aren't the, aren't the big draw card. You know, there's, there's the Gen Memorial Cup. How cool would it be to be, to get, you know, to have your first name, name on first it. name on the cup, you know, and it's a monster cup too, you know, and, um, although going to events and, and all that kind of stuff and, and, you know, winning cash or winning bits and pieces, man, you know, I'm a trophy hunter, man. Even if it's fucking, you know, I've participated. I love having a trophy from a trophy cabinet. You oh, know? Man, or a novelty check. My first one yeah. was from, a, um, Lack Attraction one in Talpa. It was furthest travel. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm trophies still going, a trophy. Trophies a trophy. Trophies trophy. trophy. yeah. trophy. yeah. trophy. yeah. trophy. This Saturday, Merry Merry Dragway. It's fucking on, man. It is on. It's just, I think there's like 60 cars. There's like 60 cars entered. A whole bunch of new faces too, which is always good to see. And then the usuals. <laughs> and the usuals, yeah. The usuals. I think um, noticeable when we say usuals, there's actually a, a couple missing that I'm quite surprised about. Um, because, you know, these are heavy hitters that always put on a show and, and, and are worthy of any one of those prizes, which is uh, Arnie from Low Life, uh, Rob Simmons with the, the EA, uh, Jay Luff, where are you, mate? Where are you? Hey, fucking getting that big book of excuses out as usual. Uh, Rusty, Paul and Rusty's not going to be there. And uh, shit, old fucking mate Mitchell, Crunk Motorsport, you know? So once again, there's something different. And, uh, you know, could have his chance of being in the game. Eh? Your mate Agro HQ is missing as well. Wild Alice, where's he? Oh, fuck, I forgot to mention him, yeah. Because uh, he's normally there as well. Yeah, nah, I think he done something at Chrome. One that, I, one that I haven't seen on the list is, I think his name's Matt Ireland, and he's got the blue EX Lancer with the LS in it. He's not on the list, and he always goes pretty good. So oh, yeah. I, I, I always like seeing him go. And on that same note, Reese Smith, he's there, so I'll be keen to watch him. I reckon he's going to go pretty good now. I've been he, watching him the last couple of times. <laughs> he, he is going off. He is. Uh, he is. He's on my on my pick for that big novelty check, mate. I've put him down for one of the wild cards, mate. I've put him down for one of the wild cards because I reckon he's if he gets on, keeps it together and keeps it off the walls, he's going to be one to watch for sure. Oh, for sure, bro. And it, he was going off at Chrome. You know? It was. It was I, so good. That to watch. car. Is, is a freaking weapon, man. Right from when Sharky and that, or, you know, built it, and they and him and his kids skidded it. Um, it's just a weapon, absolute weapon, you know. So and and Reese is just he's he's taking it and he's just going for it. And I think it's got similar to this, you know, small ball, standard LS, really well, NALS. It's got a little bit more wheelbase on this. And it just, he seems to be able to steer it good. It's, it's got the power, it goes, it seems to stop. You can get it into the corners. Always up the tipping again. I don't think you're going to take any of the top prices unless you get back up that tipping. Oh, or smoke out. the whole suburb out. <laughs> I'll be trying to do that because there's no way I'm going back up the tipping. I, I did the, the back up the tipping once. I had a go at doing that and that was at Summonets and it didn't end well for me. I fucking smashed it into the wall. And then went down the other end and smashed it into the wall in front of 50,000 people, whatever it was. So, yeah, that's put me off for life. Just don't park it between the barriers, mate. <laughs> You'll be sweet, eh? <laughs> Insert photo here. Oh, shit, shit, shit. So, yeah, um, you know, what's got me real excited is there's probably 13 or 14 blown cars in this comp, you know? So, uh, I. I Blown and, and turbocharged, you know, so I sort of put them together. So you've got the likes of the Sean Stewart, he's got the twin turbo LS um, Starlet. Yep. Uh, is it the Nazim? He's got the turbo Mr. Iraq Super. Super. Is yep. it, I, I'm not sure on his name. I was trying to catch it off the chrome one, but I, no, I couldn't get it. Yeah, so, I mean, you've got Haunt U, you've got, uh, you've got Sharky in his VK, you've got Psycho VL, who has gone blown, <laughs> and uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, there's a slug, Devil's Child, Psycho HQ, Tainted, Evil 69, Grim Reap, Full On, uh, Bad BMC, uh, Nut Out, of course, and yeah, as I say, those two 
those couple of um, turbocharged Alice's sort of put in the same category. No, I'm looking forward to seeing Ramo go again. He's always one that I like to try and catch. Oh, I think Ramo is well deserved, he, and he could take it out. Just the uh, noise of that thing oh, when he comes oh, off the oh, line oh, and the thing is just singing, and it just sends it in. He's on. Oh, no. Ramo is always a top contender, but he always does something that takes him out of contention. I think if, it's he, just has the, if be, he just goes out there and has the perfect skid, he's on. You know. I think even if he has a perfect skid, there's going to be more than three or four of them having a perfect skid on the day. So trying to judge it, it's going to be a tight. It, it's going to be like half points or points in it, regardless. Just with, in the numbers game, because mm. there's so many people there yep. that can and will take it home. Easy. Yeah. I think, um, you know, and having uh, the... So you've got two judges, obviously, from Summonats, and then I see Hannah's stepping up to replace her mum and live on that legacy. So three judges, which means good, cover, good coverage of the pad. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, it's going to be... I would hate to be a judge, actually. Yeah, I think three judges is what you need, though. Yep, no more, sure. no less. And I, like you say, cover the pad. And hopefully, you can sort of get away with a bit with, still, with three judges, you know? <clears throat> if you get stuck in the corner a bit or whatever. It depends on what criteria they're judging it to. I'm guessing it's someone that's judging again because it's, it's yep. all aligned with them. So, we'll see how that shakes out. Rotaries. We'll talk about some rotaries. Charlie Stanaway, mate. <laughs> He's there. Where's Billy? Billy's not entered. I didn't see him on the list. I don't know, man. Would have been good to see him out again. I mean, that's the closest one to them. I don't know. You got it's, it, it's actually you know the rotors are always so tough. But I'm not a rotor guy, so I don't want to comment. You know, but obviously though, rotor and Hayden Kirkwood is obviously building a, a beast, but still in the chesting and changing up things, you know. Um, but that Brett Curran, his car, I've yeah. seen it. Holy shit. You've seen the flames from that oh, thing I over the top? Like, I remember I was, we went to, I was at Morrinsville for, for a private skid thing, and I was just like, what the fuck is this thing? What is it? You know, it's, it was it was mental, so. I'm pretty keen to see Brad Wright with the Series 4 or 5 oh, RX7 yeah, yeah, with the black yeah, and gold yeah, one. Yeah. Seen a few clips of him ripping a skid, and I reckon that's going to go pretty good too. It just The look of that thing, it looks oh, so oh, aggressive. Like badass. Street Shark type thing with the big wing and, yeah. and all the arrow on the front. That's quite cool. Definitely something different as well. Mm, mm, but yeah, and they seem to come out of the woodwork up there a bit more. More rotors. I definitely the, noticed it at Chrome. At Chrome, you know, like, fuck, there was so many. You know, the rotors were were equal to the V8s, you know, which is unheard of. Oh, i tell you who's missing, Smugsy. Who the fuck are you, Smugsy, hey? Where are you, Smugsy? Well, we're moving on to some six cylinders, because there, there's a big field of them. So we've got Sean Jerry, he's gonna lead him off pretty hard, I reckon. The big <laughs> Falcon. We've got Ryan Shackliffe, oh. violent. He always goes pretty good, yep. hard to pass up. Yeah. Or once again, a tipping contender as well. Definitely, definitely a tipping contender. I think, you know, these, the small cars with the good power, you know, and the, you know, obviously he runs, same with Mr. Cunt, you know, with that little alleys. They, they've got their boots just chocker full of concrete, you know, so when you're flying down that yeah. massive entry chute that Mary Mary has, and you're going for that tip in, and you've got all that weight over the back wheels that just sends the car flying around. And know? brave enough to send it off the line <laughs> from the top. You see some people walking it down on the brake. They're, they're backing up to the barrier most of them oh, when they pull in right. off the off the return road and they back them right up to the concrete. Yeah, that's cool to see. You know, they're on. They're re real confident when they're backing them up that far, mm -hmm. and that, that's always good to see them firing out of there. So so far, that's that's sort of three in my books for that sickest tip in is is the is the Mister Cun, you know, is the is Ryan Shirtlift and and Reece Smith so far. So that's three of my contenders for sickest tip in. Um, I would put Low Rider in there as well. If he can get it off the line, sometimes you hear him bog and you have another guy on the clutch mm, to get mm. it going again. But, yeah. Is he auto now, though? I don't know. I haven't seen much anything. I've seen him doing a bit of a merch um, drive, trying yeah. to sell some t-shirts and stuff. I saw that the other day. But as for updates, I haven't really seen much. What about Dwight, mate? Yeah, yeah I've Dwight got Dwight on my list as well, mate. Because yeah. he's been getting better and better. He's just seemed to get a bit more of a handle on that you oh. recently, the last couple of events. And, you know, talk about evolution of skids and evolution of burnouts and you know you know he's he's definitely one that you that has started right down here and he's just working his way up as he can you know as you can afford it and as a skill set allows home built oh that's you know, like burnout. so yeah you yeah, definitely Dwight um, and I just love seeing him achieve he's Mr. Positivity 
you know. Definitely. So. I'm always messaging him, just seeing what he's up to, and yeah. he's always bouncing ideas around and stuff, and it's cool just to see the mind, how his mind works. Because they're all, the goal's the same, basically. Mm. Do a six kid, and then drive it back on the trailer. But everyone's got different gear, different skill sets and stuff, so seeing how people do things their way is kind of cool. And it gives you ideas for your stuff or whatever. Like, it's just... It's like two sides of the same coin type oh, thing, you sure. know? For sure. Um, Mr. Consistent. <sighs> Mr. Consistent. Yeah, I mean, Darren. Hard to say. I was going to say, yeah. Darren Roberts. <clears throat> oh, Daddy. I call him Daddy. Actually, I think Autofest was the first time I ever beat him. Autofest at Mystery Creek was the first time I ever beat him. I don't think I've ever beaten him. <laughs> That's cool. I've been seeing him doing, he does a lot of the pad work now for the other events and stuff. So you'll see him in the photos because everyone's up here, he's down here. Yeah, yeah. Got well, this massive bed. He's on down here he's anyway. Down he's this tall. But man, he's putting in the work too. And it's cool to see that people aren't just there to take and take from the skids and, and people are putting back into it, you know, and, and off his own back too because it's all volunteer work, you know. Yeah, yeah, so it's sure. cool. And I think you've seen like, um, same with Sean Jury and, and, and Dwight and all that. They I saw them. Helping yep. pad side at um, at the I Am Hope Winter Jam. That's sort of good because you know they know what they're doing. Oh, well, you hope you know what they're doing. I think that, you know, if you're a burnout competitor, there's no better feeling than have other burnout competitors competitors running the pad. Yep. So they know what's up. They know what to you, you know to expect. Especially if you've got a car that has fires, you know, you know, taking apart from tire fires or actual fires, and yep. not letting you go too long, or you know, or not or not killing your skid before it happens and making sure the pad's clean you know like if, if there's an all down letting you know so you can try and avo avoid that especially Definitely. Mary Mary I mean when you're when you're flying down that nothing, chute, it's all walls you, and, and you get some speed up you know so I, I think you know consistency wise you have to talk about uh Liz Gracie yep definitely I got her down there too yep. she won it last year 2023 I mean she wins everything actually but is she I see she, I mean she's entered I know they haven't touched them, or they had, since Summer Nats, they haven't done anything with the car, obviously had engine issues. So whether they've stripped it down, redone it, obviously we won't find out till the weekend. Um, and only running that car, because I saw Ryan was entered for something a little while back with the Wild LS, but I don't see him on that list. Uh, Evil LS? Evil LS? Yeah. Nah, I see, he's, I see he's entered, but I don't think they'll skid it. It's oh. not on the skid, he's not on the driver's list, Ryan. I don't know why. I've got Gareth down as Mr. Consistent oh, too, mate, because yeah, he is always up. right up there for skid me. Yeah. Another one that I always try and see. And the nicest guy you'd probably ever meet. Yeah. What newcomers did you see in the list there that you hadn't seen before? Well, there's, uh, uh, there's actually a few names on there that I don't recognise, and I apologise. And sometimes it's hard to hunt people down on Facebook if they've got locked profiles on that. So um, I don't really want to speak about it too much because I don't want to sound like I know what I'm talking about when I don't. So there is a few uh, older names, Paul Dormer. So he used to have that one ton. Uh, I don't know what he's skidding this time round, but I, last time I seen uh, he was skidding his brother's car, that Commodore or something on those. So, um, oh, actually that Mark Bricken, uh, he's got the Ford truck jammed, yep. bagged. Yep. It's got a FE uh, Ford motor in it. Column shift. <clears throat> Column change manual. Uh, wicked, wicked setup, airbagged, everything. Uh, larger than life fella, seen him at Chrome, he must have had his first skid on the pad and he was just fizzing. He had his kid in the car, so I'm looking forward to catching up with him and seeing that out on the pad. Anything from the Fajoa stable? Yeah, I saw, I saw the, <laughs> the WRX with the LS in it, I yeah. saw a photo of that, I'm not sure who's driving that, but that'll be one to watch. Yeah. Anything from the Fajoa boys, and once again at Chrome, they, you know, like they just turn up, they have a trailer load of tires, they've just stacked full of tires and they were just going out, banging sets, banging sets, you know, in the Rumble Commodore. Um, but yeah, definitely keen. Hopefully um, the old man's got his Cortina out there with the LS3 in it, you know, and, and then there'll be, you know, the Scooby, Scooby the Subi. Anything LS powered, you know I love, so. I reckon that'll go all right too, because same thing again, it's got a bit of a <clears> wheelbase to it. It'll probably be a bit heavier than like the EX Lancers and stuff, but it's not a big car. So that'll be, manual, be able to drive manual too. Manual. manual too. I mean, the, I think the photo they put up for the entry is that the, the arse ends on fire. So that, that's <laughs> that's pretty good. So I also um, looking forward to seeing um, Doctor Cuts. You know, he's not a real doctor, by the way, guys. And uh, his menace burnout. You, we've obviously been seeing them on the old YouTube doing their thing and building his car. And so I'm excited to see him out there and uh, you know and actually get out there and have a skid.
Um, I think he's going to need the practice, eh? Because he's called me out for rapping. Oh, that's right. Why does everyone always call you out? I don't know, because he obviously hasn't seen what I did to Jade Luff. He had to sell the car <laughs> afterwards. You know? So that's going to be, I don't know, I'd, I'd hate to just wipe the floor with him, you know what I mean? So hopefully he gets out and has a good go at it, because, yeah, come rapping at, yeah. I, think, I think we'll be on. Oh, actually, you know what we didn't um, talk about with the rotors is the B2K ute. Yeah, yeah, I got them down there. That uh, is, is another very cool contender, you know, uh, in the rotor class. Like, Definitely something different. I just fucking sidetracked. And they change the, the tray every time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know how he keeps that thing that clean because it's got, it doesn't look like it's got wheel tubs on the burnout tray and it's just raining rubber out. You know where it goes. <laughs> It'll be all up the front and <laughs> stuff. So rusty, and he's got the exhaust coming out the front. That's, that's, yeah. And you hear it as soon as it starts up over in the pits. Yeah. He drives all the way back down. I think that's one of the cool things about Mary Mary 2. Where the spectators are in the pad, you can sort of see everyone coming and lining up. Yeah, yeah. Sort of, you can you can sort of gauge who's coming up, and they do a bit of a parade down the drag strip beforehand. That's kind of cool mm. to see if you can get a good spot on that hill. I think that's the good thing about Mary Mary is that the elevation, it's the natural elevation, and as long as the wind's not blowing on the hill, yeah. You know, when the wind's blowing on the hill, it's like yeah, twenty seconds in, then you can't see nothing. So, but uh, yeah. I reckon get down on the corner from the tipping into the pad, I reckon that's the spot to set a camera up and see everyone coming in and mm. out. Because mm. everyone sort of seems to really hang it hard left into that block, and I reckon that block's going to claim a couple of victims. <sighs> Fuck, hopefully not me, man. <laughs> Alright, so we just, oh, oh, there's a few coming up from the South Island making the big trek, which is, um, which is pretty impressive too. So uh, we got uh, Shane Dallas in the Losing It Escort. We have... Rolly, Rolly, Eagle yep. Mark Five. Now, I freaking love this car, man. I love a Cortina, and you know these two boys here, especially, you know, sort of ripping it. The only sort of V8 Fords in the whole scene. Everyone else going LS, you know, because they're so good, <laughs> mate. Um, you know, so to see he, see and hear those Fords out there just fucking doing the business, especially Rolly, man. That Cortina's on. How long has he had the Cortina for? I think he's had it for ages, bro. <laughs> um, and who else we got? We've got uh, Gaz. Gaz. Uh, well, the who knows, mate? He's got no motor in his car at the moment. As we speak, his motor's on transit from Wellington back to Ashburton, where he lives, um, where he's going to throw it in. And because he's got all this new spicy equipment from Llama. And it's, it's beautiful. I've seen the motor, and it's fucking. And then he's booked on the ferry to come up Monday or Tuesday to get it all dynoed. So, yeah. All I know is Gaz breaks every trailer that he uses, and he's looking for someone. <laughs> he needs to borrow a trailer. Mm -hmm. I would advise against that, but uh, that's up to you. Um, Saw one of his Snapchats, and he had them stacked out in the paddock out in the back. <laughs> well, so you can make one out of three, Gaz, maybe, like the axle out of that one. And I don't know. Yeah. You got Nathan Bull, <clears throat> Wolf oh. Ghost as well. Beautiful, beautiful one tonner. So you know, some awesome fabrication in that car, and it it sounds and goes as good as it looks. So you know, another one to watch. The actual, if there was classes, the V8 class would be the the hardest class because there's just so many top V8 cars. You know, and that you know, before you go the you know, taking out the blowing ones, taking out you get know, rid of the blowing ones. <laughs> Mate. Well, mate. We've got Shay Watt coming from down south too. Oh, Shay Watt too. You can't miss him. Like, yep. So he'll be convoying with oh, the boys, mate. no doubt. Um, hopefully he gets Rosie to drive it, then it might win something, because you know how she won. Put it, finally put on the podium. Uh, but, uh, that guy's yeah. next level, man. <laughs> He's never never had a bad time. I remember he drove into his awning and shit at <laughs> Rapid. I was like, hey, what's going on here? They didn't even give a fuck, eh? Uh, e Agro EH. It's got an LS oh, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be his yep, first yep, event yep. with so, Cam Marsh. Cam Marsh, yep. Um, so he's done it all. And now he's finally gone to an LS. He should have just done that years ago and he would have saved himself a shitload of time, hassle, and money. So. I've obviously watched it a little bit on his socials. It's in there. It sounds like he had it running. And it sounds like he had the same issue as me. When you put the MSD in, it tells you passenger and driver. So you hook it all up thinking passenger and driver. Yeah. Forgetting that the MSD is an American. It's Chinese, but anyway. <laughs> it's Chinese American. <laughs> so you switch them around. You know, the passenger is obviously reversed. So he's got that sussed. So hopefully we'll see him out there for the first time 
with his LS powered EH, because it's a pretty cool looking car. You know, those massive tubs and everything on it. And it's just, you know, obviously it's lacked in power a bit. So but the LS should be able to turn it up and, and, and have a bit more fun and a bit more reliability. I can't imagine, oh no, EH probably wouldn't be that heavy, would it? I don't think so. It's a, is it a two door one oh, too, eh? Not too sure. Tell it's called cool the Mac Mac Mac, bro. Can't tell where the door's in. <laughs> An up and comer is, um, is Nutter. So the XJ Luff VX Commodore. Mate, if that thing could talk, I'd probably cry. Oh my God. But hey, listen, you know, it's gone auto now. Now we're actually going to see some real smoke happening, you know? None of this fucking. It's an auto now, so it just gets straight down and boogies, okay? Have you got Jade Luff's number? Should we ring him? I've got one number. Ring him. Put him on speaker, ring him. <laughs> Fuck this guy, answer your phone. He probably hasn't got one number saved, mate. That's how famous he is. Oh. The person you have done... No, he doesn't even have a voicemail either. Fuck. <laughs> ah. That's a failure. Do you ring him on fucking Snapchat? Do you ring him on Snapchat? Do you want to talk about the judging or not really? You know when you've done a good skit or not. Yeah. Who are you to judge me? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm sort of hoping, like, you want everyone I'll to go well. I'll that out. You want everyone to go well is the thing. And it gets even harder the more and more people that you know because you don't want to see someone have no, a shit day. But no, then no. trying to pick a winner out of 20, 30 people that you already know and you want to see go well is pretty hard work. Oh, for sure. I'm speaking from. Hey! Did you not have my number saved? Hey. See? Hey. Is that you, Jade Love? Yeah. Hey, listen, mate. Um, we got a quick question here. We're just uh, we're just filming for the Nut Chat podcast, and we just want to hear your predictions on who's gonna the top three for Auto Fest. Uh, Tony Wally, number one. <laughs> Brilliant Bateford, second, and um, Hayden will be be not on the top three. <laughs> <clears throat> so he's predicting rain, is what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, we'd just like to thank you for your input on today's show, and, um, yeah, have a nice day, you fucking asshole. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for me to beat Bryn, it'll have to be raining, mate. Well, well guaranteed. considering you're not going to be there. But listen, uh, let's talk about Bryn. Bryn is always one of my favourites. Bryn drives so well. He drives aggressive, and once again, progression on the car. RB, rods out. LS, rods out, oh, build another LS, tunnel rammed, and now he's gone blown. Okay, so my, I feel sorry for him though. I just, as much as I love to back him, I think he hasn't had enough time to test that motor with his blown set up, and he's going to go up there, and it's probably his first kid's going to be at Autofest, so that's going to hinder him. And he won't be able to drive as aggressive as what he normally does, um, but he's still going to have to work out that engine, so yeah, that might yeah. hinder him. You know? I'm sort of on the other side of that though, I reckon. I reckon if he gets it sorted and gets up there, those first couple of skids are going to be hectic. Like you say, you, you can't really drive a blind car like an NA car, but he's going to try. Yeah, yeah. And I reckon they'll be the ones to watch, and then he'll sort of figure it out from there. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. The car does everything, and he's had the car for a while, so he knows the rest of it. And how many other VLs has he got? He's a VL guy, you know, I mean, he we drifts to, it. We went to Chrome. He was doing the drags all day as well. So I think he's going to be trying to do that at Autofest, hopefully, as well, because that thing's not slow. And no, now it's going no, to blow no, us. So, no, no. so that'll be one to watch. And, and making the most of the event as well, you know? So that, that'll be cool to see. It's cool to see because, same thing again, he's putting it together himself. It's all his hard work into one car and then just using it like he's built it. It's, yeah. it's primo to see. That's what Skid's all about. Yeah, and he, he gets around. Like, he must be his like, third trip to Auckland this year, I think. And all those trips to Mexico that he does. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, I think he did like an, was it a 10-9 or something? I don't know. It's day. actually quite quick. So, you know, the car's also entered for drag racing this season as well. So he's, yeah. in, the, he's in one of the classes anyway. So he's, that's gonna be, he's gonna be drag racing it this season, so. I just remember seeing him before he went blind, obviously, and he's running NOS in the car. Yeah. He's got the bottle in the barbecue. Let's <laughs> <laughs> walk over here. In my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, righto. And he's like, oh, no, no, warm it up, and puts it, and he's on the button off the tip in. I'm oh, like, you mad? Oh, you mad hear it, eh? Like, this picks up a different note, and it's off. Mongrel. Mongrel. Um, I sort of thought that card peaked, and I was like, oh, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, he's just going to go. And, but no, nah, no, nah, he's not left it there. He's gone and bought a blower off Corey on CDK. CDK. Devil's Child, what mood is in that now? Unless... Is that the one he had in the VS? Oh, who knows? I think he's probably been through a few since then. Oh, Mike Floyd. So he's, he's got a VT Commodore now. He brought that old... VX. Um, the VX is that green one from yeah, Two yeah, Cheap yeah. Cars or whatever. Yeah, so Mike Floyd from Pyre Tour, Panel yeah, and yeah, Paint. Yeah, It'll be good to see him back. Oh, Meyer with the Gemini, oh, the LS nice. Gemini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw him on the list and I, I keep like, looked him up. I haven't got him as friends on Facebook. And he's still got the El Tezza as his um, profile pic. I'm like, no, 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 sure he's got the Gemini now. Yeah. So I took the Trev. Sure enough, he's got the Gemini going, so that'll be good to see. Like how many cars are going to have a Trev tune? Hey. I don't know. <laughs> Three or four of them? At least. Yeah, yeah. He's not going to be doing many more after Jade dropped the exhaust on his fucking tuning gear. Sad guy, Jade. Um, well, I think there's probably really, I mean, unless we want to talk about no, like who's your top three? What's your picks here? Oh, I don't know. I, I want to put, so my top three, I've split it. So for the naturally aspirated guys, I've got Jake Too Tough, Gareth Karish, and Reese Smith. And then for the top finishers, I've got uh, Haunt You, Tainted, and I've sort of split third place. I've put Devil's Child and, and Ramo Grim Reaper yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you picking then? I don't actually fucking know, to be honest. I think, yeah. Uh, Pick a rotary as well. I reckon Hayden's going to be up there. Definitely top 20. I think Hayden is the most dedicated out of, out of a lot. Like he's, he's building his car just to do burnouts. That's yep. what it's for. He's got a goal. He's already going to summon that. He's already got his tickets. You know, so I, I, I would love to see him, you know, achieve the goal. Achieve sure. the goal. Yeah. 100%. And he's another one that's, that's putting it all out on socials as well. So yep. you can sort of see yep. the progression and what they're doing and stuff. And, yeah, yeah. and, and they want to split the guard <laughs> open. Oh, well, I just seen on his fucking story this morning, they're doing more panel repairs, you know, so it must be like a paint or something. So, you know, it's he's putting in the work, man. So, you know, I want to see some reward for that guy. I think he's got a good chance of getting the wild card pick as well. Yep. Top 20, yep. for sure. Yep. I think, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm obviously... It's, I'm torn because I'm such a fucking blowing guy, you know, I just feel that it's going to be one, you know, it's going to be a blowing guy that wins it. It's going to be a blowing guy that wins it. I feel Leon Kenny's got tainted dialed in, you know. Um, I think he needs to lean a bit harder on it though. <laughs> um, I think Haunt You is the closest thing we have to an Aussie spec, Aussie spec you know. Big block, blown methanol, you know? I think... we still got the motor out of that too. You saw <laughs> that on Friday. I think full on is yes. oh, already okay. proven. That's it's already won some of that, you know? So I don't, we, I don't know who's driving it. Uh, Hopefully they have the computer sorted. Yeah. That was last time I spoke to Ricky. He was having problems with an injector driver or something. So Hopefully, I, I, I would say Ricky would be motivated to drive it, you know, to, he... <laughs> He would want to win that cup, surely. Who would have? Yeah. I, mean, he, I don't think he cares about going to some minutes, but I think the cup would be pretty cool to have. Definitely. To have, you know, Jen's car being the first one on it. So uh, I think Ramo is, 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 is he's, he's, he's. Imagine a, Ramo at some oh, He's an animal, you know. His car's got the look. Yeah. It sounds the business. It's like early 2000s street machine type oh, DLA. Right. Those fucking wheels like this yeah. big on the back, you know? Um, yeah. Uh, Liz Gracie, I mean, she Hard fucking <laughs> with everything, man. <laughs> so. You can just hear it. Hey, the pitch never changes. Yeah. She's driving it around. Yep. Yeah. So, I don't know. Solid, man. solid contender. So, 
yeah, in, in my top five, I'd probably be, you know, uh, Haunt You, I'd be uh, Evil 69, I'd be Full On, and I'd be, um, oh, you know, Grim Reap and Devil's Child. Any one of those. You said Leon, and now you've gone to six. It's tainted. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, I'm on the spot, oh, bro. I'm on the spot. Yeah, it's, definitely. But Leon's a local to us, so 100% got to throw him up there. You know what happens on the day. 100%. It comes down to on the day. 100%. Okay? That's what I said. Like, looking at the list, it's like, the, the, they're all sort of standouts. Yeah. Like, been to comps where, like, this is the, probably the biggest collection, like you said, of all the top blown cars so far and the newer cars that are joining the ranks. Yeah. And it, it's sort of just getting tougher and tougher at the top. Yeah. Um, so, so that that's there. I've already told you my picks for the tip in. It's going to be, it's going to be uh, Fats and Mr. Cunt. It's going to be Ryan Shercliffe. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be Reese. Reese, for sure. You know, in the in the Lancer. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know. For me, a, a tip in. I think for me, a tip in is when you come in, you've got plenty of smoke. And, and and you tip it in and you and you continue. So no come round, stop, come back, no come round, horseshoe it. No, it's 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 a it's a it's a smooth, fluid movement, you know? I don't know that. about smooth, mate. I wanna see like <laughs> wheels off the ground. So hanging on for dear life. You know, it's I just think it's it's a it's you know, you can't yeah. Smooth, I think smooth. Well, I'm so still we'll still waiting for the day that someone does a full on rollback for the tip in. Oh. Just manages to stop it halfway. Yeah, like do that. And just, 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 yeah. just <laughs> rolls, it, rolls it right back into the far corner, mate. I reckon that would take it home. Yeah. I mean, that's almost harder than doing like a 721 hand, you know, like. All right, well, we're going to wrap this up anyway. Um, uh, can't wait to see you all at AutoFest. There's a lot going down for AutoFest, there's a lot on the line. And it's going to be an epic weekend regardless. I uh, hope to see you all on the Friday night, the Saturday, and the Sunday. Friday night cruise, Saturday night, or oh, Saturday burnouts, drag racing, and Sunday, you know, power skids and some track cruising. Um, yeah. So power skids on the yeah. Sunday? Yeah. That'll be the highlight of the Sunday, I reckon. I think Tony's going to drag um, your car up, eh? Nah, I think Gaz might be boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's on offer if anyone wants to take it. Come grab it. Yeah. All right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, stick it in your bum. I don't know. Whatever. But um, let's go.